I have an updated video on my Doom board game. Um, everything is painted. So I've actually had this stuff painted for a while, but I did get two new additions um, to my collection. So I got those recently finished. So I decided to pull it all out and kind of give you guys an update. Um, my last Doom video got a lot of views for the unboxing of this board game. Um, I still got haven't had a chance to play it, but I did get a chance to paint everything up. So uh, I'm not going to talk about gameplay, uh, but I will show you the figures and kind of talk about them uh, now that I've learned a little bit more about them and have them all painted. So let's start with the player characters. So uh, in the game, you have uh, four player characters, Delta, Charlie, Bravo, and Alpha. And I decided to go ahead and paint them as close as I could to these color schemes just so that it's easier to play the game. Um, usually I'd do something completely different, but I decided I've got plenty of models, so I might as well just try to do something like that. So there's Alpha. So I, I did the white with the red. And these guys are actually really tricky to paint because of all the details and just all the different armor planning. And you could paint these any way you want, but it was kind of difficult. So what I did was I painted them white, did a black wash, white again, dry brush, white with you know more black washes but once i got all the the washing done putting in the red was pretty easy and it went pretty quickly now let's go to bravo the blue one here's bravo i went for a metallic um blue which i think looks pretty good <clears throat> then we have charlie There we go, there's Charlie with his big old massive chainsaw there. Pretty fun. And then Delta. I probably would have used metallics on all four of them, um, thinking back, but they're done. I'm not going to go back and redo them. That's one thing you got to do. When you paint your miniatures, when they're done, finish them, because I'm sure you have hundreds of others that need to get painted. So there's the four player characters. Now let's go to the Revenant. Here's the card for the Revenant. Uh, these guys are pretty nasty in the video game. And they're pretty nasty in the board game too. So I, I have three of these guys. And I tried to paint them all similar. Uh, with a little bit of variations in the faces. So there's the my three revenants. Those guys back there. Next we have the Baron of Hell. I've got two of these bad boys. These guys are pretty wicked. So I painted their underbellies with like this metallic dark gray. And then did red with lots of washes. I wanted them to look kind of cyber at the same time. All right, next we have the Cyber Demon, which is this big buddy. The Cyber Demon is really awesome. Again, it was really hard to like detail this guy because you got to, in your mind, separate the metal plating from this muscling. And I mean, you could, I could have probably painted all that muscle under there. But again, you have it's, it's really hard to kind of mentally separate the different armor platings and paint it, you know, in a way that would make sense. But I'm pretty happy with the way he turned out. All right, now the uh, Mancubus. These guys were really fun to paint, especially their bellies. I did a bunch of purple washes with some dry brushing and highlights got out the metallic green and I, I found that um, painting these doom figures were actually um, pretty good with the metallics I'm, I'm really happy with the way they turned out here's the other one yeah I kind of painted them all the same like when I was looking for reference photos like when you look at these pictures you can't really tell what color they are. Like, 
like like what what color am I supposed to paint that? You know, it's a lot of reds or pinks or grays, but there's also a lot of lighting effects that kind of muddles it. Um, especially for the uh, possessed soldiers, these guys. What what am I painting? I don't know. You know, I looked up reference photos, and it was really difficult to kind of come up with a color scheme. So this is what I came up with. These guys, again, mentally, it was really difficult to separate the different layers of textures that are on this guy. So I ended up just kind of cheating and going for just an overall purple wash with some highlights and a little bit of reds. That was the, the scheme that I came up for my possessed soldiers. I've seen other ones that are painted better than these, but these guys were the last things to paint in this set, so it just took me forever. I was just like, oh, how am I going to do all that armor? And that's what I decided to do. All right, now we go to the pinkies. These little demons. These guys were the fastest to paint. Just red, white, black wash, highlights. Got four of those guys right there. That was pretty fun. Um, and now the imps. The imps, actually, if you look... They're kind of a metallic brown in the game. And I went more of a classic Doom brown. And there's hundreds of ways you could paint these, but I was like, you know what? I usually don't do brown. So why don't I just challenge myself and try to do a brown color? All right, now the, uh, I think it's pronounced uh, the Caco Demon. These were really fun to paint. However, inside the mouth, it was really hard to get my brush in there because that mouth actually has, goes down pretty deep. And I, I really like doing the, the fleshy color with the purple wash and highlighting it with pink. really makes it look fleshy, which is pretty cool. All right, and then um, these were from the older version of the board game. This is one of the knights. I thought this guy was going to take a long time, but it actually took me about an hour to paint him. It's just brown with some uh, highlights and a chestnut wash. And I was pretty much done. I was surprised on how quickly he went. So he, he looked pretty good. And then we got this guy. I think I'm going to do a little bit more painting on him. But in general, this was just about an hour worth of work. Alongside that other guy. So yeah. So there you have it. There's my Doom board game. I'm going to take this off because I'm going to get closer here. So lots of fun models in this board game. If you can get the older board game, the details aren't as good on those two guys but when you paint them they kind of fit right in all right so anyways if you like doom and you like this board game give this video a thumbs up watch my other unboxing videos i'll put a link into the unboxing of this game in my uh, in my description there uh, but if you want to check out more of my stuff jo join the Facebook group AVP Wargamer for Alien vs Predator news and community sharing and we like to share a lot of other sci-fi stuff on that group as well alright doing board game see you next time